Hello again, YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed watching the last video, but we ended with a catastrophic crash. And uh, the consequence of this catastrophic crash has been that uh, all of the work I did in the last episode, well, for this episode, this will be part B of the episode, has been utterly undone. And we're back at our minuscule frames per second again. Well, we're about 30, that's not the worst frames per second. Maybe just adding the extra bandwidth to the water addition is working as intended. Probably need to add, uh, mine out a little bit more. That one there. That's understandable, Falk. That's understandable. It's an acquired taste, but uh, once acquired, it's unshakable. One could compare its grip to that of heroin. And potentially the high as well. Successfully executing on a plan in Dwarf Fortress is uh, easily equal to uh, Dark Souls in my opinion. But there again, that is just my opinion. Don't let those sway you. I have got many of them. Oh, pants. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> got one more to dig out. And then hopefully that will uh, get more done in this probably shorter than the last session. Because uh, we'll have slightly more frames per second to play with. And maybe we will manage to capture the vampire. If I keep an eye on the barracks, I might actually see the dirty deed done dirt cheap in front of my own eyes. That would be nice. Ah, and I remember now why we weren't getting uh, all the smelting action we wanted. Uh, let's reconnect Dwarf Therapist, that invaluable tool. Go to the full labours, uh, sort on furnace operating, deactivate him, find a peasant. Are you a peasant? No, that's a ranger. What does a peasant look like? It's a green circle, isn't it? Uh, no, you're in the militia. Monom, you're the guy I turned into a smelter, so you can operate the furnaces. Commit. And then hopefully we'll get some of the stuff we wanted built. Built. That would be nice, won't it? Yeah, you may quote me on that. I, I mean, obviously, I'm not really au fait with the addictive qualities of heroin, having never tried it, but uh, I'm assuming. I've tried cigarettes, and they're bloody addictive, and Dwarf Fortress is nearly as addictive as cigarettes. If I could just step outside of work uh, for a ten-minute Dwarf Fortress break, I damn well would, and I wouldn't have a fag. Ah, uh, well, never mind, Falk, never mind. We tried to sell you as hard as we could, but uh, maybe we came on too strong. Maybe you're just not ready to accept Dwarf Fortress into your life. Welcome to the cult. Oh, and also, I smoothed all of this uh, dining room, didn't I? Let's do that now. Uh-oh, I feel another sneeze coming on. Disaster. Not now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Disastrous. Oh dear, sorry for the sniffling and snorting. It's alright, I mean, heroin's not for everybody, is it? Some people prefer crack. Oh, I'm looking for my damn pit and I haven't dug it yet. Stupid fool. Okay, uh, where did it, should I do it in the same place or should I do it in a different place? Same place, I think. Same place. I'm going to need a uh, three by whatever. I think that looks right. That is right. That's lovely. What a delight. Up to here. Uh, I don't want that bit there. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll designate down here. One long. There we go. And now we'll put our room in. You know what, I'm going to make it a bigger pit room. I'm going to make an insane pit. The Pit of Insanity. I've drifted a bit away from the mic this time. Is the sound quality still good now I've restarted? Or um, 
do I need to address it? I think that is true. You do have to love base building for this game to truly grip you. Uh, Graves, this is the Iron Hand graphics pack, and uh, these zeros I'm assuming you're uh, referring to, yes, they are Graves. That's true, some people do come to games folk just for the, uh, the, the reflex action, and that's an entirely admirable and uh, valid position to have. I mean, I do enjoy some of those games. It's just unfortunate that I'm quite cack at them and um, <laughs> usually fail hard. Uh, if any of my uh, like um, AFK friends are in the chat still, they'll tell you uh, many a tale of me in Battlefield sitting by the van going, does it need repairing yet? Does it need repairing? Come on! I mean tank. Van? Who's driving a van in Battlefield? Katsundere, hello. Why aren't I using TWBT? Well, I think you'll find there's a problem with your question, because I am. Ta-da! Look at that. Multiple levels viewed at once. Isn't that exciting? Set priorities on mining jobs. Oh my. Uh, that sounds good. I'm, uh, I'm keen on uh, seeing a little bit of uh, mining prioritization. How does one do that? Well, I captured a giant worm, and I noted that my mare had a problem with worms, so I figured tormenting him in a pit with a giant worm would make sense. I'm sure you understand. But we're going to go for a truly, uh, well, comparatively ginormous pit. Maybe I should set up some channels to the uh, system that I, so I can flood it. I'll then need a way to drain it, though, and that's going to be awkward. Flooding is always a, a valid form of execution, but... Uh, there. Seems cheap. <laughs> Plus or minus. One is the highest priority, seven is the lowest. That is amazing. Okay, Rock Mage, you have educated me fantastically. <laughs> I may even have to... Uh, look for a point on the uh, Reddit Dwarf Fortress thread where I can actually drop that knowledge on somebody else to pay it forward. They're not dropping much in the way of uh, coal after going through that little seam, are they? Or did they actually hit the coal? Is that the edge of the seam? Here it comes. Are we going to get any bituminous coal? No. My ma miners are leaving very little in the way of uh, stone and stuff for my uh, other dwarves to haul away. We should have a third legendary miner. Where's he? Where's he in all this? Oh, hello, Fuzzy Logic. I missed you there just a second ago. Oh, nighty night, G-Man. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. I hope. Uh, you're always welcome to come back and have a little look at Crit Beards, or whatever fort is uh, being constructed after Crit Beards, because you never know when Dwarf Fortress Fort is going to fall. The F F F S F a lot. I must admit, the last time I was uh, hard uh, into COD um, was COD 4. That was uh, a glorious time for me. Uh, unemployed <laughs> at the time, living at my parents' house uh, in my bedroom with a surround sound set entirely too close to me. It was fantastic. But, uh, you know, I do miss the days of uh, online multiplayer, of uh, first-person shooters, but I just don't have the time these days, um, you know, when I do find the time. The fortress is calling. Cryptbeards has brought all the viewers to my yard, and uh, I cannot possibly deny Dwarf Fortress now. Although, I think you'll be pleased to hear, Falk, that one of the next games coming up, as soon as uh, a Dark Souls 2 hits a sale, I'm going to be getting it. Oh no, don't fight the giant earthworm! No, leave the giant earthworm alone to get caught in the traps! What's going on? Where's the fight? Get it in a cage, you dunce! No, 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 no. Ah, oh, what have you done? How are we going to torment the mayor now? We've lost his nightmare creature. Oh, 
oh, this is unacceptable. My dreams of becoming Freddy... What the... I was going to say Freddy Krueger, but I've just noticed something down here. What's this? A Gorlack. Well, I have no idea what a Gorlack is, but uh, maybe we'll find out later. DS2's £15 right now. I didn't get a note on that. Um, I think I might have to pick that up, actually. Yeah. £15. Decent price, I think. I'm afraid I don't mean Dark Souls 3 because uh, <laughs> I'm uh, not that great at it. Well, I've not got the uh, console for it, to be honest. That's alright, Julian. Go have your tea. Ah. Throw the mare in the cave lake. That Well, that's, that's doable. But, uh... Hmm. What do I do now? I, I am a document controller. Um, I keep... Basically, a clerk. Uh, you know what Bob Cratchit does in uh, the uh, Scrooge story? That's what I do, essentially. But for construction projects. It's not particularly exciting, but uh, pays the bills. Excuse the sniffling again. Oh, uh, we better resume. I had it paused there for some reason. I thought the water was particularly stable. Okay. Now was that wall I built as well. I did uh, finish building this wall off. We'll hold off on that for now. I was only really doing it to absorb idlers, and I see at the moment we only have 16, so let's... Uh, Pop down a bit. This guy here in the green top, is he the one who got killed last time? Nope, that's Neroxen. That's not him at all. I won't hunt for the people who died. I'm, I'm assuming because the worm's been killed, I now know that time will not play out in the same manner. And I cannot be assured that the vampire take the same victim. The moat is filling, Ginger Ginger. In fact, Ginger Ginger, I don't know how long you've been here, but if you've just turned up, the moat was already pretty much filled a little while ago, but we had a catastrophic crash, which lost my save. Not good. Not good at all. Actually, let me just press escape to check. Save game's going to quit, isn't it? Well, we'll stop We'll stop for now. We'll, we'll ignore it for now. We'll hope the game doesn't crash again. It did crash. We lost a whole episode's worth of stuff. I'm still going to put it on YouTube. I'll warn people that it's uh, all for nothing. But uh, it's still going to be there. Come on. Diggy dig dig. That doesn't look like diggy dig digging. That looks like walkie walk walking away from the work site. Off to get a drink, are we? Who doesn't love candy? Good old adamantine gobstoppers. <laughs> Excuse me. I shall try to think of something else. Okay, the mayor's ended that mandate, whatever it was. We've had that happen before. Come on, filly fill fill. Ah, quick save is the command. Well, let's quickly open up DF Hack then and uh, test this uh, notion. Where are we? There we go. Quick save. Alrighty. The game should save the state now. Are you going to save it? Is it saving? Is it saved? It's not responding. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Interesting. Those uh, Gellian Eldar, you really are spoiling us with these hints and tips tonight. And not in the bad way, not in the kind of giving us the end of Game of Thrones way.
at the moment, uh, what the, the point of filling these caves with water is uh, for it to be a kind of uh, cistern to store a large amount of water to put into the moat. Uh, but it will also be um, useful for getting water elsewhere in the fort, somewhere to tunnel from and to. Ah, here we go, it's saved. Hooray! Let's... Uh... <sighs> No, you're all being very helpful. I mean, the, the entire reason I founded this fort in the first place and decided to stream my Dwarf Fortress playing was in order to learn. I thought, I, like a, a parasitic tick of information, I could latch onto the brains of Twitch viewers and extract useful information for expanding my fort and dominating the Dwarven world. And it seems to be working so far. A highly effective strategy. Check to see if my uh, armor is building stuff right. Let's uh, get some chains on the go. Uh, we'll have some copper chains, please. Make a load of them, then we'll stick them in our uh, justice chamber. Oh, and last time, if I remember correctly, I also removed this switch and this floodgate. Because why not? I should probably also get rid of this wall, but that's uh, designate uh, deconstruct, isn't it? Is that what it is? Remove construction, N. And we'll do it on you. Thank you very much. Good. Let's get rid of that bit of wall. Oh, excuse the sniffles. <coughs> there we go, we're back. Okay, the furnace operator is working. Let's quickly check what he's working on, because I seem to remember I needed to... Uh, no, we've got him making coke from bituminous coal and lignite. We're all good. Excuse me. <coughs> hope this cold's gone by next stream. Okay. The industrial area seems to be going okay. Probably spin some more thread here, though. Let's uh, spin thread, capital S, repeat that. Okay. Okay, the moat's filling up fairly nicely. We're still only in the 20s on the frame rate, but it did improve last time. And it improved reasonably rapidly as well. Ah, of course. Uh, we need to channel out this little area here just to improve the flow through. There we go. Uh, we'll go up a level. Channel. There we go. 18 idlers. I probably should build the wall. Yeah, let's uh, continue the wall. First, I will remove this stockpile because it is no longer in the correct place. Oh, press the wrong buttons. There we go, that's what I wanted. There we go, remove that. And then build capital C W. Expand the wall out that way. Uh, schist blocks, why not? Uh, here we go. Too close to edge, okay. Actually, I remember how I did it last time. I did it this way. There we go. Just blocks, we have to move on to microline. There we go. Uh, let's fill this bit up. <laughs> yes, well, I mean, explaining, having uh, Dark Souls explained to me was one thing because the you, you, you can't really pause Dark Souls and the pressure is always on whereas uh, in this game at least I can pause and uh, commiserate on the bad happenings and take a moment to think about what to do next we do need uh, customizable controls if 
the interface was uh, actually speaking of which while I remember it I saw a video of somebody operating Dwarf Fortress uh, remotely on their own machine but via their iPhone it looked pretty damn special to me I wouldn't mind being able to uh, remotely play Dwarf Fortress on my iPhone probably get me fired <laughs> no, I don't think I need to get away with that And another wall segment. Shift enter. God damn it, I'm learning today. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, so, wall. Shift enter. That is it. What the hell? We can change the keys. Oh, I see. I, I get the wall segment. And then I press shift enter. No? Ah, oh, that's it. Designate all the blocks. I get you. I get you. I understand what you're talking about now. Just notice the door behind me is open. I should probably close that, otherwise, I'm going to wake people up. There we go. Bear with me one second while I deal with that. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Are we working? What's happening here? Can you see me? Oh my goodness. My webcam appears to have completely and catastrophically failed. Please bear with me one moment. This is confusing. Can you hear me? 